Hi, welcome to today's Monday Manna. As always, we pray that we find you in good health and in good spirits. I have some wonderful news for you that I'm excited to share. Uh, let's pray and then we will get into some new directions for this platform. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tenderness toward us. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you're doing, God. We thank you that you smile upon us, Father, that you are in heaven literally clapping your hands and rooting us on to victory. Thank you for the great cloud of witnesses that have gone before us. They are a witness, first of all, that you are God. They are a witness, second of all, that you are faithful. And they are a witness, third of all, that you will cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. We thank you that even though we are in this life waiting for the life to come, you'll never leave us nor forsake us. And for that, we give you the glory. Whatever it is you have given us to do, whatever assignment, whatever task, whatever cross that you give us to bear, you are with us in it and through it all. And for that, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Aren't you glad that we don't have to go through this life by ourselves, that we have help, present help to get us through each and every circumstance. I don't know about you, but that makes me excited. Let me share some news with you. I've been off of the Monday Mana camera for quite some time now, but I did give you a heads up and let you know that I was going to be stepping back for a time to seek the Lord, to get some instructions, get some guidance, find out exactly which direction I'm supposed to go in as a servant of his and what it is that he would have me to do. Do you know that Monday Mana has been in production so to speak, for the last six years. I couldn't even find my start date on my Facebook page. So if it needs to be corrected, I'll correct it. But right now I'm going to say the last six years, since 2016. And so we have been posting and posting every Monday, every Monday, every Monday. There are very few Mondays, few and far between, where we did not uh, post a Monday manna uh, video to encourage you, to inspire you, to strengthen you, to pray that your heart, your hope, your faith, your trust and confidence would be in God and in God alone to give you um, some instructions, um, even just a few corrections about some thought processes that we as a body had been um, given that needed to be tweaked a little bit so that we could apply it in a more um, a more easy manner for our own lifestyle, our own, um, what we deal with on a daily basis, our daily affairs. And so, but we've been doing that since 2016. And honestly, I can tell you, I am, I don't want to say this and take it the wrong way, proud to say that we have been faithful with Monday Manna. We have been faithful in the studying. We've been faithful in the prayer. We've been faithful in giving you um, different avenues to search out for yourself, different authors, um, um, sometimes movies, different venues that you could take this information and go search it out for yourself. Take it to the Lord in prayer and let him speak to you more thoroughly, more clearly, more concisely how these things apply to your life. And again, I am so proud. I am so thankful and grateful for the opportunity to share with you on this Monday Mana platform. However, Having said that, Monday, the manna in the Bible, let me read, I'm going to read something to you, and then I'm going to move forward a little bit. In the Bible, as, as we read about the children of Israel 
coming out of Egypt, coming out of bondage, coming out of the world for us or coming out of harsh harsh circumstances and God leading them out through his servant Moses into what seemed like an even worse place, which was the wilderness. But actually it just happened to be the way that they were going to get to the promised land. But there was a day, there was a day on this journey when the manna ceased. There was a day on this journey when they no longer required the manna because God had spread a huge table before them that they could now partake of. And it was called the promised land. And it was a land flowing with milk and honey. It was a goodly land that God had prepared for them. And so there was no longer a need for the manna. That's what I've been asking the Lord about. Is it time for the manna to cease? And guys, Honestly, it is. It is. I'm not upset. I'm not sad. I, I'm not mourning anything. I think I might have gone through a mourning period off camera about it, but I am at the place now where it's time to begin to move forward, or let me say, to uh, continue to develop um, this avenue for. Um, greater increase. Amen. And so let me read this to you out of Joshua chapter five. I'm in Joshua five, um, starting at verse 11. And it's talking about the children of Israel, it's talking about them going through this journey um, and transition is beginning to take place. And that's what, that's what this is all about. This is about transition beginning to take place. And so um, the scripture says in Joshua 5, and they did eat of the old corn of the land on the morrow after the Passover, unleavened cakes and parched corn in the self same day. Now, of course, we are not um, celebrating Passover at this moment, but this is what was happening um, in the scriptures at this time. And so verse 12 says this, it says, and the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the old corn of the land. And I have to tell you, the manna has ceased. The Lord has not put anything in my spirit, nothing in my heart, nothing on my mind concerning Monday manna since the last video was posted. And today, as I sat down, because I promised you a video on December 5th, as I sat down to post a Monday manna video, there's no manna. The manna has ceased. It is time to transition into a new area. It's time to transition into a new place. And so from, to, from this recording for December 5th through December, I think there's four, let me look on my calendar. We've got four Mondays, the 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th. Those four Mondays, we're going to talk about change. We're going to talk about transition. We're going to talk about looking back and why that's not always a good thing. And then we're going to talk about moving forward. So those are the four areas that we are going to hit on as we move forward from the manna that has ceased now into this new arena. I tell you, I'm excited. I don't quite know really what to expect. I do know that as you go from one place to another, you also will encounter new challenges. So that's one thing that I am braced for. But otherwise, I'm excited. Again, I'm proud of the work that was done with Monday Mana. I do pray that whosoever, whosoever tuned in to any of the Monday Manas from 2016 all the way up to 2022, I pray that you were encouraged. I pray that you were inspired. I pray that something was said to encourage your heart, your hope, your faith, your trust, and your confidence in God and in God alone. I pray that you were convicted maybe even a little bit 
to take some things to the Lord in prayer and ask, is that right? Is that true? Is that about me? Do I need to change? Amen. Because we are all being conformed into the image of Christ. Amen. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. We are going to talk a little bit about transition today. And then we're going to move through the other four Mondays and launch into the new year, January 1st. So let's talk a little bit about transition. I promise I won't keep you long. Uh, let me pull up the definition of transition here. Okay, this is it. It says the process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. Now, uh, this is going to sound really, really strange. Um, and somebody might say, I can't believe she said that. But, you know, I was born to stir up the pot. So here we go. <laughs> Amen. Here we go. Um, transition. Let me read the definition to you first, and then I'll share something with you. All right, so the process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. Let me read that again. The process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. Now that that's the noun. That is the noun word of transition, the noun definition of transition. It's a process or a period of changing. The verb is undergo or cause to undergo a process or period of transition. Undergoing or being caused to undergo a period or process of transition. So regardless of whether it's changing from one state or condition um, from one to another, what I want us to focus on is it's a process. It is a process. Transition is a process. Amen. And so things take time. They take time to develop. They take time to manifest. They take time to um, learn. There, there's always a learning curve in any new thing that we are going into. So I want to take these next four weeks, um, these next four Mondays to encourage us concerning changing and developing and building and moving forward and why looking back is not always the best thing to do. I hope you stick with me during these next four weeks and in this new platform that we are getting ready to go into. I know there's so many social media options out there. I'm not trying to be a superstar. I promise you I'm not because I really don't want everybody in my business. <laughs> Amen. And so I'm not trying to build no million subscriber platform or anything like that. But what I am trying to do and what my heart's desire is and what I am called to do truly is to encourage us always to seek the Lord, to understand the word of God and how to apply it in our lives. James chapter one promises us that those who are doers of the word and not hearers only will be blessed in their doing. Are you ready for the ride? Are you ready to move forward? Are you ready for new adventures? Because I certainly am. And I am looking forward to these new opportunities coming down the road and around the bend. Amen. Until we meet again next Monday, may God richly bless you. And as always, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. May God richly bless you. Amen.